Hello, New Apple Times here and welcome to a new video. So, it's been a couple of weeks since the last iPhone 8 rumors video I posted and there have there have been a lot of rumors that have surfaced surface since then. So, I thought it was necessary to give you kind of an update and show you the most relevant ones. So, we're going to begin with this dummy that has surfaced of the iPhone 8 that supposedly just came out of the CNC machine. So here we can see the most clear thing is the uh, the vertical camera on the back and a bezel less from the sign. Plus a new rumor that's taking shape that is an elongated power button which would have two positions. Like if this is the power button but in the inside uh, it would have like two clicks one on either side and that is unknown for for what it will be but it, it's rumored that it will be there. So this, uh, this proto these prototype images were leaked by Venia Jeskin on Twitter. Also this schematic leaked some days ago and this one, which is a little more detailed, res leaked recently. And it, they show mainly the wireless charging that would supposedly work in 5 meters range. So this was uh, this was rumored a while ago and it started to uh, lose weight that rumor as it would be physically really difficult to concentrate all the energy that's for example if I plug it in right here the energy will be in the whole room and it would be difficult to concentrate it in the iPhone to load just the iPhone and it will have a lot of losses but apparently that's taking shape again and I really hope that that comes true because it will it will be really really good. So we also have had this leak by Sony Dixon uh, which shows a Touch ID in the back. Now with this Touch ID thing there's it's unclear whether it will be integrated into the display or in the back or even uh, analyst uh, Andy Hargreaves at Pacific Crest Securities points out that it might not have Touch ID at all. I really 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 hope that it doesn't happen because I really like Touch ID and even if we're going to have some iris scanner or face recognition thing I really hope that Touch ID doesn't disappear because it's really 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 convenient for some for some circumstances and I really like it. So other rumors suggest that the front facing camera and speaker will be hidden inside the display just like this uh, concept shows by iDrop News and there will be 4mm bezels uh, in every side of the phone and a 2.5D contour glass just like we talked on the last video that you can see if you haven't and also you will notice in this concept the back camera which is vertical and that's growing more and more um, popular that rumor and we might see it happening in the end. Also according to Barclays this year's iPhones will also have the lightning to jack adapter included in the box which is contrary to a rumor that we saw recently that said that it wouldn't. Also Mark Gorman from Bloomberg uh, corroborates that the iPhone 8 will have a glass and steel design but it's uh, still uncertain if Touch ID will be integrated into the screen. And finally we have this new case leak by KK Sneak Leaks and it shows that there will be no real Touch ID and that the back camera will be vertical. So when we get a, a case leak it's normally really possible that it will be like that because the manufacturer invests a lot, of, a lot of money in making it and they have to be certain that it will be that. However it's still really soon and even Apple might have not yet uh, decided on which model to go through so it could be basically a leak or maybe that's just a prototype of the case. So this is everything that has happened in the Apple ecosystem and iPhone 8 slash edition rumors in the past weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow my telegram channel link is down below. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!